time to open another door on our This Morning Advent Calendar and we've got something a bit different today. Are you ready? Let's see what's behind the door. It is... Oh, I recognise that little face from Home Alone. Everyone's favourite Christmas film, of course, Home Alone. Today marks 30 years since Home Alone was released in the UK and to celebrate, we are going to speak to Lauren Avenshine, who lived in the actual Home Alone house with her parents at the time the movie was made. I love that house so much. Such it's a the good best. film. Uh, we can speak to Lauren now. Good morning. Good morning, Lauren. Good morning. How lovely to talk to you. Thank you for joining us today. So, um, explain uh, how old were you and how did the movie come to end up in your house? So, I was six when they started filming the movie and also when the, the film was released. Um, and how they came to choose our home it was actually kind of a funny process. They have uh, location scouts who drive around the area where they're looking to film, uh, looking for the house, if you will. And at the time, our parent, my parents lived in a different house, actually, uh, that John Hughes was interested in using for a previous film, Uncle Buck. But my parents had just sold that house and bought the house uh, that now appears in Home Alone. Uh, and the location scout liked it so much that they came back for Home Alone to film that movie there. I mean, it is just the best house. It's so iconic and beautiful. And you were only six, but you have real memories of the crew being in there. I think they took over your home for about four months. Some of the scenes outside that you remember being shot, what were they? Uh, I remember actually many scenes that they filmed. Uh, I remember the scene where the robbers are trying to go from the third floor of the house to the tree house along the rope and then Kevin cuts it and they all go swinging down to hit the brick wall uh, of the house. So I watched them film that, which looked very treacherous, but of course they have uh, stunt doubles who, who know very well what they're doing. Uh, and also this scene where uh, Joe Pesci's character goes up the front stairs of the house and ends up uh, falling backwards onto his back multiple times because Kevin has iced the stairs over. Uh, so I watched them film that. Again, another scene where the, the poor stunt double was going over and over uh, backwards multiple times. Um, so did you, um, did you have to... Um... Oh. You ow, 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 ow. Um, did you? You still lived in the house, and you said that you were having to crawl around so you didn't cast shadows and, and wreck the filming. That's exactly right. Yeah, we stayed in the house pretty much the entire uh, period that they were filming, which, as you mentioned earlier, was uh, between four and five months that they were there, and um, they, in order to avoid appearing on screen, uh, we would have to crawl around under the window line uh, from room to room, especially in the evening when the uh, it would have been much easier for that to show up on camera. So you had to do sort of an army crawl uh, from spot to spot in the house. And what about the, um, the cast? Did you get to meet any of the stars? We did, yeah. They, uh, you know, they would spend time in the house when they weren't actively filming their scenes. Um, Macaulay Culkin actually used my room as his uh, the the place where he would go to study with his tutor and his brother, uh, who played his cousin Fuller in the film. Kieran, um, he wasn't filming as much, and so he would just hang out in my room. So we had many of the cast members. Uh, Catherine O'Hara, Daniel Stern, Joe Pesci, Macaulay, of course, and his brother, Kieran, Devin Rattray, who played his older brother, Buzz, was just lovely, just the, the sweetest young man. So oh, when the movie came out, obviously, you know, you've, you've had the excitement of having cast and crew in your house um, and, uh, and you get to meet everybody. Then, then the movie comes out, then the house becomes famous. Yeah. What effect did that have on you all? Uh, well, I think it was a bit of a surprise. Um, you know, we saw that something special was happening when they were filming, but I don't think any of us anticipated how much of a, a hit it would be with fans the world over. Um, so that was very, it was very surreal when the movie came out and then all of a sudden um, it's the holiday season in 1990 and cars are lining up on the street, down the block, it was just an endless uh, row of cars, line of cars coming 
uh, to see, people wanted to see the house and, and take photographs and, and just sort of experience the magic in person. Uh, so that was very new to us, but we, we grew to really love it because it uh, showed us how much people shared sort of the magic yeah. of the movie. And, um, and your parents, I think, sold the house in, in 2012. And a tough one for you, because obviously nobody, anybody who has that sort of ha family home that you grow up in to say goodbye to it, but especially this one, and you find it hard to drive back down that road now. I do. Uh, you know, it was such a special house for many reasons, not just because I, I grew up there, um, but because of the movie as well. And I just have so many wonderful memories of living there uh, that, you know, I, I hold those memories very close to my heart. Um, and so I prefer in, in a way to remember the house as it was when I when I lived there. Uh, so it, it is a little difficult for me to go back now, though I do live in the area. Lauren, it's lovely to talk it to really you. It really is. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, I uh, love that, that house. Absolutely fascinating. The perfect house. Thank you. Thank you. Merry Christmas. So Merry Christmas. Holiday. Bye now.